Today I'm going to show you how you can do this. Hello, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nixon and today I'm going to show you how I did this sky replacement effect in my recent video about Rome. So let's jump straight into Premiere Pro here and start working on this effect. So this first clip I have here is the raw footage from a drone moving towards this building. And you can see the horizon doesn't move a lot, it's just drone moving straight forward. And this type of clip is the easiest type where you can replace the sky. If you have too much camera movement, you need to track the mask a lot and it will be more difficult. So static shots are the most easiest. And over here I have a day sky and a night sky that we are going to use to replace the old boring grey bluish sky. So we can find different skies on, on YouTube obviously and on other websites that sell you stock footage. So I found these skies on YouTube and you can do the same, it's free or you can buy some of stock websites. So the first thing that we are going to do is mask out the old sky which means we are going to remove the old sky. Go to the beginning of your clip, wherever it is. Click on your clip and go to opacity and select the pen tool. Go around your sky and remove it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and just like this, go around your sky and you don't need to be perfect, just a rough mask, just a rough mask around the sky. And we're going to invert it and now we're going to zoom in and make these fine tune adjustments. Like so, we can create more points and move them around. So we're only covering the sky. Like so. And now everything that is black is removed. So that means if we place anything underneath our main footage here, it is going to display underneath it. So if I put my sky underneath, you can see it shows up. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to track the mask because the drone footage here moves a little bit. You can see at the first frame it's kind of perfectly around this building but if we go further down it moves to the left side and the building goes to the right side so we need to fix that. So go to the start of the clip again, click on the stopwatch icon, mask path, go to the middle of your clip and adjust your mask by moving it like so, so it's perfectly only covers the sky and you can see it created a new point here on the timeline. This point tells us where the mask is. So at this point, this mask is here and at this point, this mask is here. So the points move the mask around. And now go to the end of the clip and again adjust your mask. Make sure it covers all the sky. And you can see it now if we play back our clip, the mask moves with the building. You can see some places it's not perfect, like here, it covers over the building again, mm -hmm. so we have to move it again. It all depends on how good you want the clip to look. So the better results you want, the more time you have to spend messing around with the mask and adjusting it so it only covers the sky and you don't get anything like these white spots around the building. So spend as much time as you want around here, covering and moving the mask at different points and you'll get a better result. But since this is a tutorial, a quick one, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this. Anyways, we have tracked the mask and if we place on anything underneath this, here, like so, and play it back, we can see that our we have replaced the sky and the mask stays in place. Perfect. Actually, I just quickly want to fix this because I don't like this white line on the horizon so i'm just going to quickly adjust the mask again you see i like things to be perfect but sometimes you need to spend more time doing this anyways i'm done adjusting my mask so we're kind of done with this effect we have replaced the sky but it still doesn't look very believable what we need to do now is color grade our footage to match the sky so let's start with the day sky. We're going to cut our main clip in two. So this is the day sky part and then this is the night sky part. So they're going to have two different color grades. Let's start with the day sky. We're going to open Lumetri color and select the main footage clip of this city and start color grading it. And you can 
start with the temperature. You see that our footage is too orangey and the sky is very blue pinkish. So let's make this main footage a little bit more colder by dragging the slider down, maybe minus 25 and bringing the tint up maybe to something around 10. Already it matches much better than before, but because this is raw footage, I'm going to color grade it even more. You don't have to do this if your footage is not raw, and by raw I mean it's filmed in S-Log or Cine-like or something similar like that. If you know, you know. So I'm just going to add a little bit more contrast, lower the blacks, can I see the metriscopes? But because it's Premiere Pro, they are not moving. Yes, great, great. And I'm also gonna go to color wheels and add blues to the shadows to make this clip even more blue. <laughs> so if we turn off the metri, this is before and this is after. It looks much better. Now onto the night sky. Let's start with bringing everything down. And by everything I mean the exposure. Again, select a clip, go to Lumetri Color, basic, and let's drag our exposure down by minus 0.5. Maybe open the shadows a little bit, drag the blacks down. There is no exact answer to colors, so you need to just mess around with the sliders and see what works best. You should start with white balance, adjust it accordingly to the sky. So because this is supposed to be nighttime, at night it's usually cold temperature, very bluish, and sometimes it's either greenish or pinkish. So the sky here is very pink pink blue but then it changes to blue here so let's find something in the middle let's go to color wheels again and bring our highlights down our shadows down and midtones a little bit down maybe not so much like this we need some curves too to add some contrast and let's open the shadows it's not perfect but this is before and this is after. It looks much better. Drop the highlights. I'm not sure how much contrast I want. So you just have to play around and see. Actually at night colors are usually desaturated. So let's bring that down. And we can just go back and forward and adjust things until we like it. Before, after. So now we have successfully replaced the sky by creating a mask around the sky and placing the new sky underneath our main footage and we have color graded our main footage according to the sky. So you should always color grade the main footage according to, to the sky, not vice versa, because the sky decides what temperature everything else should be. So don't change colors of your sky, that's more difficult, change the colors of your main footage. Now let's make that cool transition that I had in my video about row, and by cool I mean just having a fade between those two. And to do that, select our clips, nest them, let's go this day, and let's go this night. And go to effects and search for cross dissolve, like so. But because we don't have enough frames, we need to cut this a little bit. Let's go 10, 20 frames to this one, to the left, and 20 frames to the right on the night clip. Put them together, add a cross dissolve, and just like that, we have this cool transition. Easy as that. Actually, one more thing I would like to show you is that I think this shows way too little of the sky, so what I would usually do is move the main footage further down, like so. So I moved it by 660. Let's go inside here too, and move this down to. 660 as well so now we have more of the sky and it kind of follows this two-thirds rule where the sky should cover one third of the whole frame so if you cut your frame up into three pieces three three slices wait one two three the sky should be one third time for an outro my outro is thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new if you have any questions please leave a comment i'll try to answer it as quickly as possible so yeah see you next one have a nice day bye